ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weekly review. Kind of boring right now in the game because uh, we're just waiting for the next patch and they even announced that the next patch is not going to have PTR, so uh, nothing to have fun on there either. Uh, hopefully I had a good week. There were a few good push weeks actually, so uh, maybe you managed to get your IO to the point where you wanted it to be. Because uh, what's coming up, up next uh, is probably not going to be that easy to push. Um, so let's get straight into it uh, next week. Or actually this week is going to be tyrannical storming and raging. As usual, tyrannical means harder bosses. So be prepared for much uh, more damage during the boss fights. Be prepared for longer boss fights, etc. This is going to be the showstopper this week. Then uh, storming, be careful not to get pushed up in a very uh, unpleasant moment, which could get you killed, especially if you're melee. And then raging could be very annoying because once enemies go below 30%, that means you're not able to CC them anymore. If you have a suit in your group, uh, evoke with a Wii suit, etc., that's uh, quite useful. Otherwise, be very careful on big pools uh, where you're sometimes probably used to stunning the mobs instead of interrupting them etc because right now you're not going to be able to do that if they're at low rating so uh having said that we're just uh, basically in a wait mode for uh the next uh announcements for the next uh, patch uh, i do have some interesting things coming up on the channel so hopefully that will keep you busy you can also check the description of this video for a link to my secondary channel where I upload some of the um, runs that I do. Uh, I don't upload them on the main channel anymore. And uh, of course, um, stay tuned for uh, more interesting uh, content there. Uh, I did play some keys last week, not on all the characters, but um, I am going to open the votes now on my Shaman. I think I'm going to open as Restoration right now. Uh, cause my trinkets are 483. So if I get one of them to upgrade, maybe that's going to be good. Uh, instead we get a mace. We're not replacing our staff. We get another staff with avoidance. Okay. That's interesting. Haste verse is not bad for Matic plus, but, uh, I don't think I'm going to use, uh, the, um, extra effect that I have from Irida, which is a lot of damage. So the avoidance is not going to be worth it. I'm just going to pick up the to tokens, which are probably not going to be useful any um, anymore because I have sockets on everything. But uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me type to a friend of mine. Um, all right. Wait, what is going on? I, I reclick this. All right. So um, as I said, I played all of my tunes, but I think... For example, the Druid and the uh, Evoker only have like one key. Uh, so they're, they're <coughs> probably going to get even crappier votes than usual. Um, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think I have like four keys on the Monk. So maybe I can get an upgrade there. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I was just making videos this week uh, discussing what will be good for next year. What is good for bugging? What is fun to play? What is easy to play? Uh, just uh, trying to keep myself busy waiting for the next uh, PTR and for the next patch. All right, so the monk is actually doing quite well. Uh, we need bracers and we need belt. Uh, those would be the biggest uh, upgrades. Uh, I guess another ring is not going to be back. Um, so let's see if we are lucky enough. Okay, we got boots. Uh, actually, we don't need boots, uh, but we got a waste. Crit haste is not bad. Uh, we're replacing verse mastery. It has a speed though, and it has a socket. However, my belt is not upgraded because I didn't have the crest to do so. That's one of the, uh, I guess, minuses of the season. Your ults are not getting enough crests uh, to, to upgrade into craft gear. I don't have many crafted pieces. On these tunes, so I think I'm gonna pick this up because it's a huge item level upgrade. Uh, and then if I ever upgrade the other one to um, potentially, I think it's 483, then uh, maybe we can switch it back because of the socket. Or maybe we, I think I actually have a uh, socket. Yeah, I have a socket from uh, all the crappy bolts that I got before, so maybe I can just socket this belt and uh, call it a day. All right, so at least it's not a, a wasted vault here. Let's check the Druid and the Evoker very quickly because they only have one piece. 
So uh, that will be a quick disappointment there, pretty sure. But yeah, do let me know if your votes are uh, looking better at this point of the season, because I feel like no matter what you do at this point, you're in for a disappointment basically every week. Because uh, there's maybe like one or two pieces left that you need, and it's going to be tokens and gold and whatever. Um, okay, I, I'm actually augmentation spec, but I'm going to open this preservation. Uh, I had to augment few keys. Um, so that's going to be potentially an upgrade once I up, uh, upgrade it to 489. So I guess I can pick this up. Um, I hope I don't forget to enchant it later. Okay, so this goes here. All right. Definitely not the biggest upgrade. I didn't check the gear on the evoker, but I have some pretty low pieces, uh, item level pieces there. So uh, th there was definitely better options, but I'm not going to complain. I only got one key on it. I on I think I only got one key on the Druid as well. Uh, I, ended I ended up playing the Paladin a lot last week, but it was not healing because Holy Paladin doesn't feel that well right now. Like, it's just weak um, and, and not fun compared to last season. Uh, but I did uh, end up playing a lot of red keys, and I did end up playing a lot of uh, prod keys even, trying some of the stuff there. So uh, there's quite a, a lot of upgrades that we need here. So uh, shoulders, I guess, and pants, a neck. We actually need a neck so we can socket it. Uh, we need something better than the crit mastery one that we have. And we got a finger. Ah, uh, that's gonna be an upgrade because one of our rings is 470 and it's champion level. It does have a socket though, but this one has a, a lot more haste anyway. So uh, I, I definitely don't have a socket lying around on my druid, but I'm gonna pick this up and use it instead of the 470 ring that I have. Okay, so I guess I cannot complain because I'm getting something here as well. I'll need to enchant this later as well. And now let's uh, switch to the other server where my paladin and my priest are. Um, I think I mentioned this already, but I did try holy priest. We can start with priest this week. It was interesting. I haven't played holy priest in a long while, but uh, definitely disc is the go-to for this season. Uh, it's interesting how it's going to be the next season though, because uh, disc is probably going to stay strong. And Holy just got buffs, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I see more Holy Priests. But um, this is definitely something that's going to be quite viable next season as well. Uh, all dependent on the dungeons that we get, and we are not going to know what are they going to be for another month probably. Uh, but if there's a, a need for a lot of uh, the spells, mass the spells and suits, etc., then it might be the priest again. All right, open as discipline. We need uh, probably a better trinket, better boots, and we got a uh, small upgrade on the lex if we want it. And we got the haste mastery ring. Uh, we have the lady waycrest uh, or the ward lady waycrest signet. We don't have the other part of the trinket, but we can end up farming that. So maybe I just pick this up and. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll need to enchant it and upgrade it. It's going to be a very small upgrade at the end of the day. This is actually a tough choice. Maybe I just pick this up because it's haste mastery. But crit versus is not so far behind. Uh, I kind of lack, like, uh, lack verse on the priest because it's kind of squishy. And if you don't have a lot of verse, you take a lot of damage. Uh... But I guess I can also keep the uh, Waycrest Signet and hope for the other part of the Trinket so it does a little bit more damage. Or maybe I pick this up and then if I ever get the Trinket, I can just uh, pick it back up later. Because this is going to be a bigger upgrade overall. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to pick the ring. Losing a little bit of verse. Gaining haste and mastery. Gaining haste is always good because my haste is... 23% which is not high enough at least this is how I feel so I need to enchant that later as well and now uh, the Paladin which I think has all 8 slots open as I said I didn't play it as uh, Holy I think I play one or two keys as Holy the rest was just having fun as Retribution and learning protection a little bit uh, it's nice when a class can 
play all three roles you, you have options and it's definitely better to get into a group because you can queue up um, with all three roles selected and people who are I guess are more um, likely to take you in a key okay so the poly uh, let's see I think I'm gonna open as protection um, for the sole reason that I, I don't have a good prot weapon I think everything else is relatively nice I have nice trinkets I need better rings of course uh, but if we get a prot weapon that's gonna be the biggest upgrade that we can get in all three specs and of course oh wow you gotta be kidding me man we got three helms and we are already have a mythic level helm do we oh no we don't okay so I guess I can pick this up thank you game thank you that's much appreciated three helms hmm well I guess that's it for this week guys I'm just there I'm gonna stare for the screen for a while and uh, ponder the, the meaning of uh, the vote in World of Warcraft maybe they change it maybe they not but this is this is just dumb all right guys I'll see you next week Hopefully you have better work. Bye-bye. Take care.